Okay, uh, welcome to my EasyGo TXT PDS uh, motor troubleshooting and re repair video today. Um, I'm going to be working on this old motor. Now, um, just to get some wires and things out of the way, I've, I've already removed this C-clip. And this is your speed sensor. You can go ahead and take that out, put that off to the side. We don't really need that at the moment. And what I like to do is get some screwdrivers under here, keep your motor from rolling around too much. Uh, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this motor first, this first part of the video here. We're going to take our meter, put it on our lowest, lowest scale for uh, ohms. And on this particular meter, it's like 200 ohms. Okay. And now, on these motors, these, this is a DC brush motor. So you've got F1 and F2 are, are the field coil terminals. Okay? And here you can see, you can see on the meter here that, hopefully this is turned to the right rotation here. So you can see here, um, you've got F1 and F2, which stand for your field windings. Okay, um, and, and when we put our meter across these terminals, we should have approximately an ohm or less. I think this one's measuring 1.2 1 ohms. Uh, and then th these other two terminals are for our armature. And if we go across here, whoa, we don't have any, we, we need an ohm or less reading here also. And, and it looks like our armature winding is open. For some reason so we're gonna have to go ahead and get in the motor here okay and I'll show you how to do that in a minute here okay we're gonna take our motor so now there's two bolts on the motor here I've already loosened those just for ease of just to save our time today here okay and then you just Pull, just carefully pull straight up. Pull your armature out of here. Okay, and now I can already see what happened here. Uh, apparently, our wires burned off one of our pairs of brushes here. There, there are two pairs of brushes, and they're always they're paired opposite from each other. So this this is a pair, and then. This is a pair, and, and this pair, uh, I've already been in the motor, but uh, you, you can see the, the brush is crumbling, and, and the, the wires burned off the two brushes, so that's why we don't have our continuity through our armature windings here, okay? And so these are, these are not that hard to, to replace. I would recommend wearing gloves. You can see this is kind of messy. This uh, this graphite, these, these brushes appear to be graphite or something. I'm not positive about what what they're exactly made of, but it sure is messy in here. Um, and I, I will take, and I'm gonna blow this out with my compressor also, but you can kind of see, see, that's um, that's what happened. We, we don't have continuity to our brushes. This, this is a good brush that we just bought to replace to replace our bad brushes with. And these just go, I don't know if you can see this here, but there's a rectangular housing and there's a spring on here. And this this brush slips in to the rectangular housing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another segment on actually once I clean this, blow this out a little bit, I'll show you a close up of how to get these in and stuff. Um, Okay, but for now, that's that's the problem. So we've determined what our problem is. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and replace all four brushes in here. And that, but besides the, the, the brushes, you know, there, there's not much in here that can usually go wrong. Uh, you know, th there's a bearing in the end of this motor too that you can replace uh, if you want to. You know, they're not very expensive. I think the I think we paid around 40 to 50 dollars for the brush set and another I don't know what 
what was it, 10, 15 bucks for a bearing or something. And so, yeah. Um, if you think, you know, you, you can feel this, and if you think that, you know, you've got too much play in your bearing, you, you know, you can you can replace it. And I, and I would, I would suggest while you're in here, you know, if you've got a lot of play in here, you, you might want to do that. Okay.